This is going to be a product review of the StarTac one port PCI Gigabyte Ethernet network card. I'm going to talk about that in a minute, but I'm going to talk about why I am putting this in. So here we go. I just bought this Netgear modem from Costco. Check out my video review. And I'm going to show you what's going on right now. Sorry, I'm not using the tripod now. I'm on the floor. So I'm assuming that the reason I can't get my speed on the older machine has nothing to do with the modem like we originally thought because the newer machine is capable of getting the speed. So I'm guessing that either the network card that was part of the motherboard is not capable of doing the speed or um, maybe the uh, network card is broken. So I bought this StarTech. It's a gigabyte and it should be able to, if the computer is working, if the computer is not the problem and the network card is, and this should take care of it, if the network card is not the problem and the computer is just too old, then this will not help. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. The price is really inexpensive. I think I paid, uh, it's got a driver. You shouldn't need a driver with, uh, you might need it with XP. You're probably not going to need the driver disk at all with Windows. I hate when people make videos and they record with their cell phone and they use one hand to do everything. But I'm just going to do that for a second until we tripod this. So, ah, there it is. That is a PCI connector, which is this nice long connector. There is also a PCIe or PCI Express, which is just a tiny little, it'd probably be about this, that, that width for the connector. And this is an old computer, so open up your computer, see if you have a PCIe or a PCI connector and decide what you're going to buy. We are going to do this together. We're going to plug this thing in. I'm going to show you what it looks like inside the box and then test it out and hopefully it's going to work. Make sure you power down your computer and you really should unplug the power cord also. That is a PCI connector. I have two additional on this one. PCIe would probably look like this tiny little piece over here. I am going to leave an affiliate link in the video description, so if you do want to buy this, click on the affiliate link. Uh, it showed up in one day from Arizona. It was supposed to take three days. If you don't want to buy this, I'm still going to leave affiliate links in the video descript description if you click on them. Before you put your orders into Amazon, it will help, out my, uh, help me out a little bit with a little uh, dinero from Amazon. And if you want to donate to my channel, ask for my PayPal info. Make sure you do the thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, comment, and all that cool stuff that all of us say. I'm going to say right off there is no guarantee for me that this is going to work, that it's going to increase the speed or allow the speed to uh, be what it should be. But this is how you install that PCI network card. I do hope that it helped you. Click on the link in the video description and support my channel any way you can. So let's wait this out and see what happens with the uh, detection of the board. It better detect it. And then we'll see if the speed goes up to where it should go. I can tell you right now, I didn't see a driver message, but it does show that I have the network and it just showed that I got some email coming in. So it is definitely working. I'm going to try to go to the website right now and we'll do the speed test and see what happens. People are going to click on the go and we're going to see if I get to the 200 or not to find out if that was the computer or if it was the network card. I'm not really sure which way it's going to go. I, it better not go down. and I'm kind of worried that it's going to be even worse. 90. Okay, I'm worried. I'm worried. Is it the old computer or was it the network card? This isn't looking good. We're only at 100. This is not good at all. We're even at a worse speed than I was before. We're at 100.7. What is going on? And we're 8.9? Okay, so this network card definitely worked, but look at that. It did not give me any... It, it lowered my speed. Really weird. This just brought my speed 50 megs by using the new network card. So now I'm really not sure what's going on or why this is happening. But that is how you install the network card. I can't guarantee that it's going to help you. It definitely did not help me. There it is. In with the old, uh, I don't know if it's the cable or the computer or the network card. But I just went to 135. And with the uh, Star, whatever that thing is, StarTech, I was at 989. So I don't really want to unbox, uh, un take this out of the machine, but... There it is, people. It's probably a network connection. The new card did not help. In fact, the new card made it worse. 
I did find a bad cable and uh, replaced that, but the new card did not bring me up to the speed. So the internal card is going to be the one that I'm going to have to use. Uh, the modem works, that's all I can say. It's just, it has to do with the computer. This computer is not getting up to the speed. The laptop I used got up to the right speed, and the newer computer went up to the right speed, so the, the uh, cable modem does work. Your speed may vary.